troubling pattern by officials close to the case. I didn't take any of that crap because I could tell that they were hiding something. Listen to what happened to Sandy Beal on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. We've been down this road before, SoCal, the one that brings us back to drought. But we know how to find our way by using less water. The best route is to fix leaks quickly or adjust our sprinklers so they only water plants, not pavement. And add California-friendly and native plants to your gardens and pots. For tips and helpful rebates, visit BeWaterWise.com. Joe Buck and John Smoltz welcoming you back to the city center convenience mart. Uh-oh. She's looking at the cigarettes, but she just grabs the gum off the counter. Stand up to cancer and rally want you to reduce your risk for cancer. Go to takeahealthystand.org. Americans don't trust big media. The source you can trust is Newsmax. Find it on all major cable systems or download the free Newsmax app on your phone. Millions are watching Newsmax and the Newsmax team with Rob Finnerty, Eric Bowling, Sean Spicer and Lindsey Keith, Greg Kelly, Stinchfield and Rob Schmidt, plus Weekends with Huckabee, Diamond and Silk, Gorka and Wendy Bell. 20 million people have made the switch to Newsmax. Try it. You may never go back. At Ralph's, fresh groceries are our thing, so we check your delivery order for freshness at every step from farm to store, and pick and pack every veggie in your free pickup order with care, because we treat your food the way we'd want ours to be treated. We're fresh every day, so shop anyway. Ralph's, fresh for everyone. Free pickup on orders of $35 or more. Restrictions may apply. And right now, you can save when you shop through Faves. Just buy six or more participating sale items and save 50 cents each with your card. Ralph's, fresh for everyone. This is Jacob Amrani. If you've been in an accident, call 844-24-JACOB. Okay, stand by. KFI, AM 640. More stimulating talk. as to whether or not it was okay to translate the Bible into modern vernacular and slang? Uh, yes and no. Uh, in the sense, is it a sin? No, absolutely not. Can it be misleading sometimes? Yes, because slang tends to change. Um, even modern lingo tends to change. So um, in, the, in the hands of somebody who understands slang and modern lingo and vernacular of the day, then it's not going to be a problem. Uh, in the hands of someone else, it might be confusing. Uh, so it's one of those things that I think that can be helpful when reading, just you know, doing plain reading. Uh, you know, maybe for younger folks that uh, enjoy, uh, want to just sit down and read scripture, and, and and the other translations are a little daunting. However, when you get into word studies and actually doing you know heavy studies uh, in scripture, it can be quite difficult to kind of mine meaning out of. Uh, you know, these kind of more hipper uh, versions of scripture. But there, it's not a sin or it's not a, you know, there, there's many different versions of uh, scripture that are in kind of casual language. Uh, sometimes it softens the meaning a little bit, but it never uh, should remove the meaning. If it, if it was so lax that it removed the meaning, then yes, there'd be a problem. Uh, because, you know, back in ancient times when they were choosing what to go into the 
I was going to go into the Bible and they were cho changing words around. Um, you know, they were changing the words of the prophets and what God has told them to write. And I'm doing that now. It seems to me the same. How, how so? You, you've seen it's very anecdotal what you're saying, um, but it's a pretty heavy claim. Are you saying about the councils, the different councils that took place, or um, are you having some sort of secret knowledge as to uh, people uh, messing with scripture in its original form? Um, no, no secret knowledge, just like the councils, um, it cho choosing what uh, scripture was going to go into the Bible and what words, because they, they did change the wording. No, there was no changing of wording. I know that that's one of those popular thoughts that kind of gets perpetuated with no evidence. People say, well, you have 25,000 parts and whole manuscripts of the New Testament alone. 25,000, more than any other work of antiquity. Uh, it is very easy to, to uh, see what was stated and what was meant in context without any changing. They still exist, so it's not a matter of going, well, the Council of Trent, Council of Nicaea, Council of... Uh, Chalcedon said this, this, that, or the other. Nothing is going to take away from the fact that these manuscripts still exist. Not to mention that you could destroy all of the manuscripts for the New Testament and recreate it um, by uh, uh, speeches and teachings of the uh, early church fathers. So it's not, it's not really, it's one of those things that people say, and I've even heard um, teachers make that claim, but without any substance behind it. Um, there, there wasn't words changed, uh, there wasn't um, uh, context changed. There are things that are have asterisks uh, in front of them because they're not in all of the manuscripts. There are um, uh, books that were left out because they weren't consistent in one way or another bibliographically, meaning that the authorship didn't seem to be who it said it was, that the writing style didn't seem to suit the period, um, that the statements were somehow contradictory to the rest of Scripture. Um, but as far as, you know, things like, you know, people have said that uh, reincarnation was taught in the Bible and it was taken out, that's garbage. People have said that there's been, you know, things like this that were taught and somehow the early church cut them out, which really, if you're a, a church father, a sinner, a human being, you're going you're gonna to take reincarnation out and leave uh, things that say you can't have premarital sex can't eat what you want when you want necessarily in that context. Um, really, the things that were oppressive in Scripture are the things that are still in there. Yeah. By, by human standards. Humans want to do what they want when they want. They're not going to worry about theological things like reincarnation. They're going to worry about, hey, how come I can't have ten wives? You know? Uh, how can, come I can't have a slave? Or how come I can't have this or do that? That's what they're going to think about. Um, not trying to theologically, you know, tighten up a, a, some sort of belief system around the Trinity or something. That's just not how uh, people think. They want to preserve their right to do wrong. And uh, so when you look at Scripture and you actually uh, go through hermeneutics and study of the harmony of Scripture and how all these books come together, you've got 60 plus books written over a span of 1,400 years uh, by 40 some odd authors on three different continents, in three different languages, in times of peace and times of war, by peasants and kings alike, and it all points to the same truth. That's pretty powerful. That's not uh, due to, you know, polishing, because people say, oh, well, you know, you're talking about thousands of years, people could have been polishing this up and refining it, and the old concept of telephone, uh, playing the game telephone, and if someone tells it to someone else, and by the time it gets to the end of the line, it's completely different. It doesn't really work because you can go back to the original manuscripts. You can go back to writings that were within 60 years of my death and life. And, you know, you're saying that, that to, to be 60 years removed, that if you removed all videotape options um, and recordings, that you couldn't tell me who Martin Luther King was because it was 60 years ago. Uh, these are pretty. These are pretty authentic and verifiable uh, works of, of history, and they often get poo pooed because to be accountable to them is to live a life, you know, that is not always comfortable for people. But you're talking about a, a work that is unlike any other work of antiquity. Uh, you know, uh, Caesar's Gallic Wars. I think there's only ten copies uh, in history of the manuscript left currently. 
So you compare that against 10 or, or 25,000 whole and parts of the New Testament. It kind of kind of looks a little weak, doesn't it? Yeah. So so uh, so as far as the two questions kind of pair out, one slang is not a bad thing. There there is slang used in in scripture. There was modern slang used in scripture. I mean, when it says Stephen got stoned uh, in scripture, now you read that today and you'll get kids going. <laughs> <laughs> Stephen got stoned, uh, or you know, because it doesn't necessarily translate into what they were thinking. Or there's a, some that say there will be no bull in my house, and and modern day thought of what that would mean could be vulgar. Uh, but in that context, they're actually talking about a bull, so uh, or, you know, or an ass, or these types of things. So there is uh, slang used in scripture. Paul uses slang or vernacular that was understood. By the people of his day as well um, it's just uh, as far as translations go the meaning can't be mutated perverted polluted or modified in any way that's going to be the, the the truth of the matter so if you want to encourage you know young people or uh, you know folks that want to read scripture in a certain way um, and this motivates them fine I don't. I'm not uh, pleased with the neutering of Bible. People try and uh, neuter the Bible and make it he, she, or they, and make kind of encompass everyone when that's not the way it was written. And you shouldn't see it as a slight against men or women because men and women have their place in Scripture, uh, both of great importance, both equal, completely and utterly. But people try, they, you know, they try and find some offense in Scripture or trying to modify it and uh, do the very thing that they accused uh, the forefathers of doing when the forefathers didn't do it. Uh, there are things throughout the church where the church had not modified scripture per se, but uh, uh, adopted certain beliefs or certain things that weren't in scripture that became traditional and could be seen as problematic because of the tradition. Uh, but uh, all in all, scripture has remained as it is. And even I quote the Old Testament, what is referred to as the Old Testament, um, in the New Testament. And uh, those types of things. So you can even find in Scripture it quoting itself before anything was ever canonized or, uh, or there was any councils or anything like that. So these things help point to the veracity of Scripture and the importance of it being as is, and translations notwithstanding, but making sure that the context is never left out or somehow skewed. You are listening to The Jesus Christ Show. To ask your question, dial 800-520-1534. your 30-year mortgage in half the time? Network Capital is offering a low 15-year fixed rate at 3.125% with a 3.36 APR. Start off your new year with a lower rate and half the payment. If you're looking to lower your interest rate, pay your home off sooner, or pull out some cash, don't miss this opportunity. You'll never have to worry about refinancing again with rates this low. Our 15-year fixed rate is 3.125% with a 3.36 APR. It's not often to get such an amazing second chance to refinance and forget it. That's a 15-year fixed at 3.125%. Yes, 3.125% with a 3.36 APR. Network Capital has experts standing by right now to help. Call 800-500-NUMBER-1-HIT. 800-500-1-HIT. As in home run, call now and save big on your refi. 800-500-1-HIT. 800-500-1448. NMLS ID 11712. Not licensed in all states. Visit NMLSconsumeraccess.org. Licensed by the California Department of Financial Protection and Innovation. And is a financing law. Number 603 e 77 An equal opportunity lender. Rates subject to change and may not be available at rate law. Discount points may apply. Subject to credit approval. Call 800-500-1448 for additional cost information. There, the rescue dog had very flaky skin, dropping a lot of fur. And Levette wanted to do steroid injections. I was at a dead end. Probably six weeks after we started using Dynavite, no more flaky skin. He doesn't scratch and itch. It was awesome. You get Dynavite, how happy your dog will be. Every rescue dog in America deserves Dynavite for 90 days. D-I-N-O-V-I-T-E.com. In 2022, Life.com is all about celebrating you. Get up to 40% 
on off-site wide going on right now. Custom window treatments are a minor home improvement with a major impact. Blinds.com makes it easy. And right now, it's more affordable than ever. Shop huge discounts on premium blinds, shades, shutters, and more. All backed by our 100% satisfaction guarantee. Shop Blinds.com now and save up to 40% site wide. That's Blinds.com for up to 40% off site wide. Blinds.com. Rules and restrictions may apply. Hey, parents. Have you ever wondered how to talk to your kids about the crazy things happening in the world? As great as schools can be, they often don't teach important things like hard work, how to start a business, the golden rule, or how the economy works. But kids need to learn about big ideas like these, which means it's up to you. So, how do you go about it? By telling your kids stories. And that's the power behind the beautifully illustrated Tuttle Twins book. The Tuttle Twins is a series of children's books that have sold over 2 million copies already. These books teach important ideas that teachers and textbooks don't really discuss. And they make it super easy for you to help your kids learn the values that our country was founded upon. If you want to help your kids understand how the world works so they can be a positive part of it, go to TuttleTwinsRadio.com to get your set of books. You'll get a 35% off discount and free activity workbooks too. That's TuttleTwinsRadio.com. Before I started Ruder Hero Plumbing, I was an angry young man. Hello, I'm John McClan. I was angry because my dad died when I was 17 and he left me alone. I was angry because I couldn't go to college with my friends and because I had to drop out of high school. It's not a pleasant story. But as I grew older, I also grew up. I realized that my dad didn't leave me alone. He left me with values and principles that continue to shape my life. Dad said, be on time. He didn't like it when people were late. He taught me to be polite. It was something I lost, but recaptured along the way. And he taught me to keep my promises, because broken promises lead to broken relationships. We teach and keep these values at Ruder Hero Plumbing. I think we have a pretty good company. I know we have great people. And if one of our heroes fails to live up to these values, please call me. My private number is on the back of every Ruder Hero business card. You can also reach us at RuderHero.com. Thank you. This report is sponsored by the Ad Council. Okay, dads, it's time to do the Cabbage Patch, the Running Man, or something more contemporary, the Floss. Dance like a dad. Learn more at fatherhood.gov. Sponsored by the Ad Council. Southern Alpine Costa Mesa on the 55 going northbound right at the 405. There's a major accident. Three of the left lanes are blocked. You're going to be definitely slow. Unfortunately, one of the cars is on its side. So my suggestion is to exit around Highway 73 and then kind of work your way around that. That'll save you an extra five minutes. Some good news at Hawthorne, 105 going northbound at Prairie Avenue. An accident has cleared off the freeway, so you guys are back to normal speed. Okay, if I'm this guy, he'll see you there faster. I'm Ellie Andrews. <laughs> I would hear your voice and I would know 
control you completely. Mm -hmm. Because I desire that from your Ruach, from the Spirit, that, that it will guide me through this. I want to say this in love, because love tested out all fear, and no greater love as any man but you, Lord. But you give your life for me, and I praise you for that. And I just want you to know that I feel your words from the mountain, talking about the Sabbath day and the Ten Commandments are holy, mm -hmm. and that we should keep the Sabbath day. However, we've chose what the papacy did in the Nyodicene Council, and we've gone on with the doctrines of man over your voice. And I believe in all my heart that we should do what you spoke from the mountain. We should honor you in our do in everything we do. Mm -hmm. We shouldn't kill. And above all, I believe the Sabbath day is the seal of God for the end time, as it speaks. And I want a clarity on this. I believe it with all my heart that that. And I keep the Sabbath day, I must say, Lord. But I don't know your opinion on it. And I don't know why the church is still on Sunday. When God himself spoke from the mountain, should we not listen to God? Sure. So to clear up, first and foremost, uh, most modern day, and I say most because not all, most modern day Christians do not celebrate on the Sabbath. You're absolutely correct. The Sabbath is Saturday, not Sunday. So uh, that's the first thing. Secondly, is that uh, modern day Christians and even... Uh, Christians 2,000 years ago at the beginning of the church didn't worship on Sunday. Uh, they started to worship on what they refer to as the Lord's Day, which is dealing with uh, my resurrection and focusing on the resurrection rather than uh, the Sabbath. The Sabbath is a day of rest. It's the seventh day of the week. It's dealing with Saturday. But in, uh, in the New Testament, Lord's Day, which is Sunday, first day of the week, uh, is uh, not only the day that I rose from the dead, but it's clear in the New Testament that if you read through, the Christians did not believe Saturday should be observed by worship and rest. That's Romans 14, uh, 5 and 6, Galatians 4, 8 through 11, uh, Colossians 2, 16 and 17. Uh, and there are many Christians that believe the Sabbath was part of the ceremonial law of Israel and was not applicable to the, to the New Testament church. So it's not that the Sabbath doesn't have importance, but if you remember, when asked, uh, questions were uh, pointed towards me about the Sabbath. I always said that the Sabbath was made for man, not man for the Sabbath. The important thing was that man got rest, that man took time to worship, that man had that, that, that uh, Sabbath opportunity. Not that a day should be worshipped. It's about worshipping on a day. And so understanding those those things uh, are quite important. I would also recommend uh, uh, reading uh, Ephesians 4, 11 through 16. Also see Acts 27, Romans 1, 12, and 1 Corinthians 16, 2 uh, might be helpful as well, Alan. But your spirit and the spirit in which you ask the question and are concerned about the question is dead on. Um, but don't get caught up in the technicalities. You get caught up in uh, the spirit and the importance of the law. Because that's always more important than the law. We talk about this in the program quite often. That the law of driving 65 miles per hour on a freeway is not what you should be concerned about. What you can, should be concerned about is what that law protects. That law protects life. And that's what's important. The life, not the law. So those laws always have to point to what it's protecting. The Sabbath law was protecting a time of rest, a time of worship. Not a day, but a time of rest and a time of worship. That day was commemorative of the creation of the universe. So that was commemorative the same way the Lord's Day is commemorative of my resurrection. So those things are ceremonial in that sense, but point to a real truth and something that's important that is that surpasses and be, is, is beyond the law, and that is what the law is protecting. So keep that in mind. In every law that you experience, going back to the, the miles per hour law on the freeways, that is to protect and sustain life. 
That's why uh, you know firefighters, law enforcement, uh, ambulance drivers break that law when they're when they're trying to protect life. To get to a burning building, to get to a crime in progress, uh, to take somebody who might be dying or is tremendously ill uh, to hospital. So in those cases, that law ceases to be important because the law is there to protect life. And that is the concern. That is greater than the law. And so when I was speaking about the Sabbath, the important thing that I was trying to convey was don't make the law so important that you forget who it's protecting and what it's protecting. And in this case, it's worship, time of worship, time of rest, time of gathering together and to spend time to focus on God. That's what's important, not a particular calendar day. You are listening to The Jesus Christ Show. To ask your question, dial 800-520-1534. You think we've got all the answers? Well, we've got news for you, Chief. No, seriously, we've got news right now. KSI. KOST HD2. Los Angeles, Orange County. Live everywhere on the IR Radio app. Still trying to get out. I'm Andrew Caravella, live from the KF High 24 hour newsroom. More people are trying to leave Ukraine as Russia continues its invasion. ABC's Karina Mitchell says Poland is accepting the majority of refugees. In Bucha, northwest of the capital, entire neighborhoods are reduced to rubble. In the besieged southeastern city of Mariupol, the humanitarian crisis is growing. The Red Cross once again trying to get a humanitarian convoy through on Saturday. Meantime, Poland is still struggling with the 2.4 million people who have crossed the border seeking shelter from the war. She says the streets of Kiev look like a scene from a horror movie. Troops have found the bodies of people in civilian clothes who appear to have been killed at close range. At least two had their hands tied behind their backs. Negotiation talks between the union representing grocery workers and grocery store executives continues. If a new agreement is not reached by Tuesday, the union will most likely tell its members, its members to strike. A strike was authorized last month. Union officials want a $5 uh, dollar per hour increase in pay plus safety standards. The grocery stores are only agreeing to about a $2 increase over the next three years. 16 people have been shot outside a restaurant in Sacramento. We are asking for the public's help in helping us to identify uh, the suspects in this and provide any information that you can to help us solve this. Sacramento Police Chief Catherine Lester says six of those people shot have been killed. An area from 9th to 13th Street between L and J Streets is closed down for the investigation. The career of legendary head coach Michael Shashevsky is coming to a close. Coach K and Duke were eliminated from the NCAA tournament with an 81-77 loss to rival North Carolina in the Final Four. Shashevsky says that there was only one thing on his mind after coaching his final college basketball game of a legendary 42-year career. It's not about me, right? You know, especially right now. Yeah, you know, as a coach, I'm just concerned about these guys. I mean, I see, you know, they're already crying on the court, and uh, I mean, that's the only thing you can think about. Shashevsky came up just short of leading the Blue Devils to another national title after guiding the program to five national championships, 13 Final Four appearances and 1,129 wins. Coach K took over as Duke's head coach in 1980 and went on to rewrite the collegiate coaching records book. Under his lead, Duke went 50 and 50 over their 100 meetings against their storied rivals, the Tar Heels. Gas prices continue to drop slowly. The average price of a gallon of gas in LA County is now 598. That is down about eight cents in the past week. In Orange County, the price is at 593 a gallon. A leaked email has turned out to be an Apple bummer for an Apple buddy. Applebee's has fired an employee of a Missouri-based franchisee who sent an email scheming that high gas prices and the end of pandemic stimulus money would force employees to work longer hours for lower pay. Applebee's CEO Kevin Carroll said in a statement, the company does not share that opinion. The email got into the hands of a Lawrence, Kansas restaurant manager last month who made copies of it. That manager told the Springfield News Leader that he also shared it with a friend who posted it on Reddit. And yes, they really do call each other Apple Buddies. Mark Rahner, KFI News. And two people have been hit by lightning after trying to leave a spring training game in Florida. NBC News says a man in his 60s and a woman in her 20s were hit in the parking lot 
of a baseball game between the New York Yankees and Atlanta Braves yesterday. The two were taken to the hospital. The Yankees were up by 10 when the game was called off for weather. Right now, though, KFI traffic, there is a crash in Burbank on the 5. <laughs> Empire still working through this big rig wreck in the right lane of the off ramp. Traffic is stacking from Glen Oaks so through Long Beach. Do problem for your drive 710 south at Willow. Fender Bender in the center lane. Traffic is slammed from Wardlow. Costa Mesa, three lanes blocked. 55 north at the 73, three left lanes uh, from a crash. And traffic is heavy from Del Mar. KFI in the sky helps get you there faster. I'm Shannon McCurcher. The podcast, What's Your Problem, dives deep into new technology and the challenges facing people at the top of their field. On each episode, Jacob Goldstein, former co-host of NPR's Planet Money, speaks with the entrepreneurs and engineers, creating innovations in medicine, artificial intelligence, and more. We didn't have a particular technology, we didn't have a business model, we didn't have a way of making money. It was a great way to start a company. I highly recommend it. Listen to What's Your Problem on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. We're in a drought, but we've been down this road before. We know how to save. Watering your plants in the early morning or evening saves five gallons. More for them, less for evaporation. For tips and rebates, visit seawaterwise.com. When I adopted her, she was a mess. Scared, itching, licking, missing fur, hot spot. So I get the Dynavite. D-I-N-O-V-I-T-E. And the Lico Chops within a four-week total. Sheba is a 105 lean pounds of shiny, smooth, happy dog. And she loves it. You won't believe how happy a dog will be. Dynavite for life. D-I-N-O-V-I-T-E dot com. In 2022, Blinds.com is all about celebrating you. Get up to 40% off site-wide going on right now. Custom window treatments are a minor home improvement with a major impact. Blinds.com makes it easy. And right now, it's more affordable than ever. Shop huge discounts on premium blinds, shades, shutters, and more. All backed by our 100% satisfaction guarantee. Shop Blinds.com now and save up to 40% site-wide. That's Blinds.com for up to 40% off site-wide. Blinds.com. Rules and restrictions may apply. Hey, parents. Have you ever wondered how to talk to your kids about the crazy things happening in the world? As great as schools can be, they often don't teach important things like hard work, how to start a business, the golden rule, or how the economy works. But kids need to learn about big ideas like these, which means it's up to you. So, how do you go about it? By telling your kids stories. And that's the power behind the beautifully illustrated Tuttle Twins books. The Tuttle Twins is a series of children's books that have sold over 2 million copies already. These books teach important ideas that teachers and textbooks don't really discuss. And they make it super easy for you to help your kids learn the values that our country was founded upon. If you want to help your kids understand how the world works so they can be a positive part of it, go to TuttleTwinsRadio.com to get your set of books. You'll get a 35% off discount and free activity workbooks too. That's com. Before I started Ruder Hero Plumbing, I was an angry young man. Hello, I'm John McQuinn. I was angry because my dad died when I was 17 and he left me alone. I was angry because I couldn't go to college with my friends and because I had to drop out of high school. It's not a pleasant story. But as I grew older, I also grew up. I realized that my dad didn't leave me alone. He left me with values and principles that continue to shape my life. Dad said, be on time. He didn't like it when people were late. He taught me to be polite. It was something I lost, but we captured along the way. And he taught me to keep my promises because broken promises lead to broken relationships. We teach and keep these values at Ruder Hero Plumbing. I think we have a pretty good company. I know we have great people. And if one of our heroes fails to live up to these values, please call me. My private number is on the back of every Ruder Hero business card. You can also reach us at RuderHero.com. Thank you. You know, I sure don't like the look of where the world is heading right now. Do you? The Ukraine-Russian war, gas going up, oil going up, fertilizer going up, wheat going up, in fact, all food going up. I already have my IRA with Noble Gold, so I'm safe from inflation, but I'm going to add to it. If you don't have a precious metals IRA right now, <laughs> you must be crazy. I've been a customer of Noble Gold a couple of years now. I heard from them here and got in touch. 
I've never looked back. I'd urge you to do the same if you're worried about the way inflation's going. They have a brilliant team of experts who run through your options and help you to keep safe. And if you're quick, this month for any qualified IRA, you'll get a three ounce silver American virtue coin as a thank you. You can't go wrong with noble gold. Call 877-646-5347 now to find out more or visit noblegoldinvestments.com. That's noblegoldinvestments.com. Hey, it's Neil Saavedra. If you think all windows are the same, you're wrong. Using American Vision windows in our home has shown my family and me just how much noise suppression, insulation, and even security a great window can bring to your home. Not to mention its stunning design and beauty. American Vision yeah, windows work strong. is above and beyond. I've recommended them to friends and family who were thrilled. Bill and Kathleen have such a great story. Horrible experience replacing their own windows years ago. They started their own company. 20 years later, they continue to beautify homes like mine with personal care and attention. CSLB number 778-326. Trust the window.